Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast. I'm Jane Rogers. We're living in a whitewashed research world when it comes to Alzheimer's disease. It's white brains that have been studied, and most participants in dementia research are not people of color. Dr. Lisa Barnes has worked for a quarter century to change that. Educated at the University of Michigan and UC Davis, Dr. Barnes joined the faculty of Rush Medical College in Chicago in 1999, and since 2004, she's been the principal investigator for the Minority Aging Research Study in Chicago. It's one of the nation's largest brain studies focused only on Black Americans. We found that people who were going to school in the South and reported attending a legally um, desegregated school had worse Mm -hmm. brain health in, in old age than even the, their Southern counterparts who were going to a segregated school. And that was surprising because we thought the segregated schools would be worse because poor quality, you know, fewer resources. Mm-hmm. But it, it was mm-hmm. actually going to school with other white children that seems to be, was negative for them. And, and we're not saying that uh, desegregation is bad, but think about the time, right? So in right. the 1950s or right after 1954, You're going to school with people who don't want you there. The teachers don't want you. The students don't want you. The parents don't want you. And these are children, right? You've seen the pictures. You've seen, you know, you know, people being escorted with the the security people, you know, so it was a really toxic climate during that time. And we think that that early life experience probably had an impact on people. It was a stressful time, right? So we oh, yeah. we can see it 50 years later, we're measuring their cognition that they are performing more poorly. Mm-hmm. We're going to have mm-hmm. to really change society at, uh, you know, at a global level to really start to see changes in Alzheimer's because it's yeah. not just, yeah. you know, individual treatment or, you know, or, or what you get in school. It's your living environment. Mm-hmm. It's your access yeah. to healthy foods. Um, you know, it's how how you're able to, to get out and be physically active, you know, and there are all these mm-hmm. barriers to people being able to do that safely based on how mm-hmm. society, you know, has marginalized certain communities, right? So I think we're mm-hmm. going to have to mm-hmm. change a lot about society before we can really start to see a decline in the disease. If, if it really is, you know, caused by these social determinants, which, you know, a lot of data suggests that it is.